allora, eh, scusate per questo ritardo dovuto a motivi tecnici, iniziamo il webinar. Eh, buongiorno, eh, in dove eh, everyone e welcome to the webinar Poland Business Opportunities for Electrical Engineering and Electronic Companies, how to look on the smart tech for energy and construction market. Thank you for taking time out and being here. Uh, I am Paolo Lemma, the director of the Italian trade agency in Barça, almost 30 years of experience in the field of internationalization for Italian small and medium sized enterprises, on which more than half gained abroad in emerging market countries and economies in transition at the service of uh, Italian trade agencies. The webinar today, under the aegis of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Italy, is organized by the Italian Trade Agency in cooperation with ANIE, the Italian Federation representing the Italian Electrical Engineering and Electronic Industry within Confindustria, the main association of manufacturing and service companies in Italy. Uh, Polish economic development is strongly correlated with the imports of capital goods, including electronic, electrotechnical and electronic ones, from a preliminary analysis of custom codes over 100 numbers, codes referring to the goods categories of interest of any member, member companies, it is estimated that in 2021 the value of Polish global imports of electrotechnical and electronic products has reached and exceeded 17.5 billion euros Today we will see how much and what is the contribution of Italy in terms of export values of electrotechnical and electronic technology for the energy and the construction market in Poland. Furthermore, thanks to the contribution of Polish experts, we will see what is the current situation and the trend of the sectors and markets in question, with a particular focus on the development of smart grids and smart buildings in Poland, with a view to possible business opportunities for Italian companies. Today's presentation is divided in two parts, an open session with the following speakers who I greet and thanks for their participation. His Excellency Aldo Amati, Ambassador of Italy in Poland, Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Ambassador. And uh, Mr. Alessandro Salio, General Manager of Confindustria Poland Association. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Salio. Uh, according to the webinar program, it also included the online connection of Ms. Maria Rosaria Fragasso, International Relations Manager of ANIE. But unfortunately, Ms. Fragasso informed me that due to the sudden priority commitment at the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, she will not be able to attend the webinar. Therefore, on behalf of Ms. Fragasso, I bring you her greetings and best wishes for a good webinar, as well as her apologies for not being connected with us. The second part of the webinar will consist in technical session and it will be moderated by Professor Tadeusz Skoczkowski uh, from the Warsaw University of Technology, head of the Department of the Rational Use of Energy, expert of the Polish Association of Energetic Efficiency. Thank you, Mr. Professor Skoczkowski. Uh, Professor Skoczkowski will introduce a framework on the electrotechnical and electronic technologies for Poland energy and construction markets, current situation and trends. It will follow the speech on the energy market smart grids in Poland by Mr. Marek Jankowski, uh, expert engineer of the Polish Power Plants Association, TGPE. And then we will have the speech on the construction market building smart in Poland by Mr. Arkadius Resbers, expert engineer of the Polish Association of Energetic e Efficiency. Uh, thank you both them uh, uh, welcome for the webinar we have uh, enabled an ask a question feature so if you have any question just pop them in the chat on the right hand side of your screen and please uh, always enter your email address so that we can still respond to your request later on 
So let's start. I would like just to remind the speakers to always keep the microphone mute when do not have the floor and kindly ask to respect the time allotted in order to limit the overall duration of the webinar. Uh, so I give the floor to uh, the ambassador Aldo Amati. Thank you, ambassador. Good morning, good morning to you all. Special thanks to the Italian Trade Agency and the Italian Federation of Electrotechnical and Electronic Industry. Uh, I, I salute also Alessandro Salio from the, the Association of Entrepreneurs of Poland here in, in Poland. In Poland. I, I, as you know, as we see, we're going through very challenging times while a country is uh, under a brutal aggression, Ukraine, this war is putting a lot of stress on every kind of economic activity and prices are rising all over the sectors. Pandemia and the war now have uh, dealt a blow to the macroeconomic picture in Europe and the chances to restart a growth based on the next generation fund that, that you know very well that was worked out in, in Europe. Nonetheless, our hopes must be related to continue to develop business cooperation and the fact that the Ukrainian and Russian markets have been sidelined at least for a while must push us to reinforce the Polish-Italian business. Indeed, trade between our two countries withstood well the first impact of COVID settling in 2020 at the, the remarkable figure of 22.2 billion euros. Today, even data from today from Goose not only confirmed the strength of the trade relationship, but also shows a renewed momentum with trade reaching 28.2 billion euros in 2021. This is a remarkable success. Italy, in this, this way, consolidates its position in Warsaw's second trade partner uh, in the EU, after Germany, and uh, a third in Germany and, and China. This is not a, a miracle or something new. The Italian enterprises uh, have been coming to Poland for decades. We have more than 2,000 enterprises in, in, in Poland. And they invested in a wide range of fields that allowed Italy to establish itself as the, uh, as the Polish fourth partner in terms of number of foreign investments. The, the electrotechnical and uh, electronic sector in Italy, as you know, employs 500,000 people with an aggregate uh, turnover of uh, almost 85 billion euros. We're talking about data coming from 2019. Polish economic development is strongly linked to the import of capital goods, as <clears throat> our friend of uh, Paolo Lemo said, including, of course, electrotechnical and electronic goods. 14 billion of euros of Polish imports from Italian products shows that uh, in the last 2021, shows that Italy holds the fourth position among suppliers worldwide. Italy has, in effect, a market of 5%. But anyway, I, I, I want, I'm very interested in uh, listening to what our panelists will tell us. And uh, without, without further ado, I leave the floor to the, to the people that uh, will explain to us what is the situation of the market. And uh, I, I thank you very much for inviting me for this occasion. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. And now I give the floor to the Mr. Alessandro Salio, General Manager of Confindustria Poland. Good morning, uh, everybody. And okay, my name is Alessandro Salio. I'm General Manager of uh, Confindustria Polonia, that is the subsidiary of Confindustria Italy in Poland. And of course, we try to represent the Italian manufacturing interest in Poland. Well, first of all, I would like to thank uh, first you, Paolo, for inviting me, uh, His Excellency Mr. Uh, Aldo Amati for, for the speech, uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, needless to say, also Anya, because at the end of the day, we both belong to the same family of uh, Confindustria, and thanks for, for this invitation, and at the end of the day, also, 
I would like to stress the precious uh, cooperation uh, that uh, we have together with uh, ICHE, World Show, and uh, with, uh, of course, uh, the Embassy, and also with the Polish Italian Chamber of Commerce, in order to try to represent the best uh, the Italian interest uh, uh, in Poland. Well, of course, thanks to all of the participants, and I'm also willing, really waiting to, to listen to the precious information uh, that uh, we will uh, uh, receive. Uh, uh, also, because uh, energy is uh, nowadays is getting more and more important, uh, and uh, well, for the Italian uh, companies that are in Poland, and, and of course uh, also for uh, for the Polish people that are attend to this uh, uh, event. Well, just a few words about us, but very quick. Confindustria Polonia was born in 2020, uh, thanks to the efforts of some companies that were already present here. As uh, the ambassador said, uh, there are more than 2,500 companies uh, with Italian capital in Poland, uh, and uh, this is generating, uh, and then uh, Paolo will give for sure better details than me, more than uh, 20 billion steady year over year of interchange. Therefore, Italy and Poland have historical contacts, historical, uh, historical relationship, uh, and therefore, uh, Confindustria decided uh, to uh, open a subsidiary in Poland uh, to support the presence uh, of Italian company. Uh, our journey, let's say, that started in Wrocław, where we have our headquarters, but needless to say, we have an office in Warsaw, in Czestokow and Katowice, and wherever there are uh, some of our members uh, that need support on site. Well, despite the unhappy period uh, of the pandemics, uh, because we were born, as I said, just a week before the, of the lockdown, Confindustria keeps on growing. And now we are proud to say to represent uh, roughly 80 associated companies uh, that generate a total uh, turnover of uh, 13 billion zloty, roughly three and a half billion euro, with uh, more than 60,000 people that work in the companies that gave us trust. Of course, our goal is to promote activities uh, of Italian industry in Poland uh, and represent, uh, well, our interest at an institutional level. Uh, well, the close link that are between our two countries uh, allow us to be effective in uh, supporting and promoting trade and business. Then uh, we are uh, also active in providing uh, uh, help uh, to further Italian companies that want to come here and also to Polish companies that somehow would like to enter to Italy, of course, always in cooperation with each other. Well, needless to say, we focus on the main trend of the current economy, trying to intercept risk opportunities and provide specific support to our members. Okay, Poland historically is an uh, automotive uh, uh, appliance industry, but then job market and energy now are a key factor uh, in, our, uh, daily, uh, in our daily activity. So therefore, a webinar and a workshop like the one we are attending today is extremely important. Um, well, one more thing and last thing that I want to say is that as Confindustria Polonia, we will be co-organizing uh, 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 at the end of May an event called Energy Industry Mixer, tailored uh, uh, to give uh, some support uh, to Italian and Polish companies uh, in the area of energy. Uh, Italy will be will be the hosting partner, and uh, well, it will be a, an opportunity to discuss evolution of energy team, mainly focusing on uh, recycling and uh, getting energy from uh, recycling. Uh, this event will be held in uh, a city 100 kilometers uh, from Warsaw. And, uh, we kindly invite you to join us. Uh, and uh, well, uh, thanks again uh, to all of the participants. I will be listening and uh, I give again the stage uh, to Paolo. Uh, and for any uh, specific further request, you can uh, reach us on our website or, or uh, I will put now in the chat uh, our uh, email and telephone address uh, for uh, Italian companies that uh, uh, may need uh, support and information on site. Thanks again and enjoy Thank the. Thank you, Alessandro. Thank you. Now, uh, before I uh, start the technical section uh, moderated by Professor Koskowski, I would like uh, uh, to quickly see how uh, in Poland's economic and commercial situation, as well as the trade with Italy at the end of 2021. So I give my presentation very quickly and short.
So hopefully you can see the, the, the slide. It's okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, mm, we go to the slide. Uh, okay. Is it the main presentation? Okay. Uh, the Poland uh, with a population of about 38 million inhabitants uh, is uh, the second largest economy in Eastern Europe uh, after Russia and uh, one of the fastest growing in the EU. Uh, macroeconomic uh, stability, competitive labor costs and proximity to major markets have made it uh, a favorite destination for foreign investment. Poland uh, real GDP uh, returned to pre-pandemic uh, levels in 2021 and uh, an economic expansion of uh, nearly 5% is expected in 2022, driven by domestic demand. Even if inflation rate will rise 6.2%, one, one of the highest level of inflation among all European Union member states forecast this year. Uh, Poland, uh, Poland's global trade expanded to 572 billion US dollars in 2021, plus 23.6% year by year, uh, on uh, year on year, of which 285.8 billion US dollar exports and 286 billion US dollars imports. Uh, Germany is uh, Poland's first trading partner in terms of the value of a trade turnover with a share of 25%, then China 8% and Italy 5% follow. Uh, Germany is also the first foreign investor in Poland, about 48.8 billion euros, followed by the Netherlands and France. Italy ranks 12th among foreign investors in Poland with 6.4 billion uh, euros and 2.5% uh, stake. It was estimated that the business in Poland with uh, Italian capital are about 2,500, 2,000. 8% uh, of turnover is generated in the manufacturing sector. You can see the logos of the main uh, some of the main uh, companies uh, present in, uh, in Poland. Uh, also, uh, as you know, uh, we have uh, the, the Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Confindustria Polonia uh, uh, are very active on the territory uh, as an association of our companies. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Italy is uh, the second trading uh, partner of Poland within the European Union member states, the second supply country after Germany and the fourth destination market of Poland's goods. Uh, on the other side, Poland is Italy's uh, sixth trading partner among EU countries and the tenth global one. In the period 2016-2021, the trade turnover value between Poland and Italy grew up from 18.9 billion euro to the record amount of 27.5 billion euro, never reached before. Poland's imports value from Italy expanded up to 14.3 billion euro, while Polish exports to Italy reached to 13. 0.2 billion euro. The balance is in favor of Italy. Uh, <clears throat> Italy exports to Poland mostly machinery and equipment, cars and parts for the automotive industry, plastics, electrical and electronic equipment, iron and steel, palladium, pharmaceutical products. Italy uh, another side, imports from Poland are uh, mainly electronics goods and household appliances, machinery and equipment, cars and parts uh, of car, uh, plastics, uh, cooper, uh, meat, tobacco, and uh, furniture. The main import and export product category show a high degree of interconnection between the two economic systems, uh, for example, in the automotive industry. 
In 2021, the value of Polish imports of technology for energy and construction markets exceed 17.6 billion euros. Main supply countries and market share is first China with 30% of the stake, second Germany, third South Korea. Italy is a fourth in fourth place with a share of uh, almost 5% plus 38% compared uh, to the 2020 and plus 29% compared to 2019, the pre-pandemic year. In general, all leading supplier countries have a growing trend, even if China's market share is rising better and good. You can see this is uh, uh, the, 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 uh, how the, based on the uh, uh, custom codes of ANIE, uh, the, the figures about the, the, the uh, group of uh, products uh, of this uh, important sector of the Italian industry, uh, we can see uh, that uh, we, we have uh, the, the most important group of goods uh, referred to the uh, components a system for uh, electric plants uh, is uh, uh, in 2021 we talk about uh, six uh, billions of euros value of export uh, from Italy to Poland uh, uh, with a, a very important uh, change in terms of percentage uh, uh, year on year. Uh, another second group of products uh, refer to the solution for uh, uh, en en energy, en energy for transportation, for industry and infrastructure, uh, for, uh, from the cable group. Uh, cable is a, an important uh, uh, group of goods that uh, Italy provides to Poland. Uh, and then uh, uh, with uh, uh, less uh, small, small, small uh, value of uh, export, uh, we, we can find uh, uh, renewable energy uh, um, components and products for this uh, important uh, field for the transition for the, uh, uh, the, the, the clean energy. Uh, uh, the compact about uh, transmission distribution uh, energy, uh, lighting uh, and uh, power production, uh, uh, security and automation, uh, automation and uh, uh, lift uh, uh, other kind of uh, appliance uh, for uh, the uh, uh, construction. So you can see this can, uh, in, uh, in brief, uh, give a, 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 a look at how our uh, um, products uh, um, uh, in, in Poland uh, uh, give the, the level of how our country is uh, give the contribution for these uh, uh, sectors, these sectors. You can see uh, in, uh, in, in, any, in any group of uh, products, uh, Italy uh, is uh, among the, the first uh, country providers. Okay, this is, uh, is uh, uh, in uh, brief uh, the situation about the fingers so uh, now uh, I, I can stop my 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 part contribution speech and i give i would like i very glad to give the floor to professor skomposki uh, that will be the moderator of the second part of the technical part of this uh, webinar and uh, with uh, um, uh, an introduction of how the, 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 the situation of Poland in this important industry the market of energy and uh, uh, construction. Me, uh, Professor Korkowski, the floor is yours. Thank you.
Professor Tokowski, I have to uh, uh, open the, the, the micro because it's a mute. Okay, this is, this is the, I will start once again. Uh, so uh, I think that this time it will be better. Thank you. Uh, you can yeah, again. thank you very much. Thank you very much for invitation. It is always a risk of the organizers uh, uh, to invite a uh, university professor to make a speech because we talk too much and usually we make academic um, um, uh, lectures. However, I will try not to follow this way because uh, I think that I know what a business is because I was involved in business for very many years. So I will try just to uh, uh, brief you on uh, the uh, situation, on the current situation in the po Polish energy uh, uh, sector, so that you will not perhaps better where to invest. I will, I will, I will share my 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 uh, um, uh, screen if possible. Okay, I will share my screen. Your web account off on. Uh, I cannot do that. I okay. uh, uh, persistently have the red uh, uh, light here, but uh, it will be sufficient if only I will manage to to show the screen. So I will try to share uh, the screen uh, uh, now. Okay. Um, okay. Um, do you see my screen or not? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So uh, we, we will have to do it in this way that, uh, okay, not yet. Um, sorry. Uh, it takes time. Um, yesterday it was much better to share the screen, um, but today um, um, so, so sorry. Uh, um, the screen. I, I will find. Do, do do you see my screen now? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So it is hopefully then in a moment you will see also my presentation. I, uh, now is it okay? Yeah, we. See. we uh, see wonderful. Yes, thank you very much. Usually we have uh, problems at the beginning, but I, now I think that everything will go uh, smoothly. Uh, I will uh, be brief as. Uh, uh, but we don't, short as see, we don't see your presentation. We see your file manager. Oh, terrible. Okay, I will, I will. If you prefer, I will share my screen uh, with your presentation. Uh, just a moment, not, not okay. yet. Okay. You, you see that on, on earth? I, I, we are seeing your file manager, not your presentation. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, so uh, maybe I will take the uh, opportunity and you will uh, uh, show okay. my, my slide. Okay, so right. Just uh, okay. stop sharing your screen. I will do that. Okay. I stopped. Okay. It is, you know, that if everything, anything can go wrong, it, it, it goes wrong. Yes, I see my presentation. I hope that also the other participants uh, can see. Uh, so that uh, the, the next one, please. Uh, um, okay. The next slide, please uh, switch to the uh, yes to the presentation mode and the next slide, please. Don't okay. The, past. the previous one, the previous one, okay. And okay, now uh, just on this slide, we don't see the title of this slide. However, in a moment, maybe we will see that. However, it is that I would like to, to, to tell you that um, concerning the legal and uh, framework, we have everything here in Poland, what is needed for a modern competitive energy market. And of course, I will say energy, mar energy market. However, 
uh, it also uh, refers to all uh, which is around the market. So as you see here, we have the energy law, we have a special uh, pieces of law on renewables, energy efficiency, building co environmental protection law. Uh, we have the uh, um, act on the management of emission system and so on. So that uh, I can assure you that uh, Poland consequently implements all the EU directives related to energy and environmental protection. So I think that, uh, of course, as all the member states, we are sometimes behind the schedule. However, uh, we have all these instruments, I mean, I would say European instruments, which uh, are needed for a modern competitive. Uh, uh, the next slide, yes. Could you could you switch to the next slide? Hello. Yes, the next slide. As you see here, this is something which is a little bit about the no 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 the previous one about the uh, uh, history. It is uh, uh, what I call dogmas, and of course the main dogma here it was that uh, we don't like energy uh, um, from other sources except for coal. Uh, Poland was very proud of coal. We say that coal is is something which is 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 uh, our national uh, 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 gold, and so on and so on. Uh, also, the uh, energy, uh, climate policy of the European Union is not, I would say, very much popular in Poland. Uh, the people do not understand uh, this, poli uh, th this uh, climate policy. It's mostly the opinion of these ordinary people is that uh, the climate policy it is something which is against our uh, uh, national interest. Uh, but I think that uh, the situation is being changing. Uh, of course, there is the political dream of having cheap energy, especially before the uh, election. The politicians, they promise the cheap energy for citizens. Uh, of course, uh, the other important uh, trend in our policy it is uh, to become less energy dependent on uh, Russia. However, when we talk about the energy security, we mostly think about energy diversification, I mean to change the energy mix. Uh, what we are thinking, what we are dreaming now, it is just to start the nuclear power sector. I will uh, um, uh, tell you a little bit later. Of course, uh, there were better and worse times for renewables. Now I think that the situation is being changing uh, to the better. Uh, also, energy efficiency, it is not considered uh, uh, considered in terms of energy security. Uh, it means that uh, uh, the energy potential, energy, uh, energy efficiency potential in Poland is still very large. And also, we do not believe that the emerging small-scale technologies, uh, they can help uh, much in uh, our, uh, uh, to solve our energy problems. The next slide, please. However, it was, uh, what I said, it was more about uh, the history. And now, uh, now I will, I will, uh, uh, the next slide, please. Yes. And now, as you see here, uh, that uh, the situation is being changed more and more. Uh, Polish citizens uh, um, uh, see also not only cost uh, uh, due to the uh, climate policy, but they also see some opportunities. Um, of course, uh, uh, the uh, phasing out of, of coal is not easy. It is a problem. Uh, it is an economic problem, social problem. We have very strong uh, coal uh, uh, trade unions in the coal sector. Uh, there is imbalance between the coal sector, energy sector, coal sector, and uh, uh, government, I mean that in very many cases uh, 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 the, government, the government, uh government follows or uh, has followed uh, the, 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 the uh, policy which was um, uh, uh, dictated by the uh, trade unions. However, the situation is it's now being uh, easier. Uh, 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 we have also a problem with the growing uh, energy poverty. Energy poverty it was something which was not known in Poland, but now 
more and more, more uh, uh, Polish households are in their uh, uh, area of energy poverty. Uh, we have to 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 uh, revitalize our 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 uh, power plants. Uh, you see here too. Uh, uh, there was a, an action to revitalize the 200 megawatts, very small power stations, and so on. So it means that we have um, uh, some problems with the uh, 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 capacity in power sector. Uh, however, it was already decided that there would be no uh, more coal-fired power plants in Poland. Uh, to make the situation easier. We started a capacity market uh, several years ago. Uh, we also created a Ministry of Climate and Environment. I mentioned this name because it, it is quite unusual in Poland that we have such climate and environmental uh, 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 ministry, but we don't have at, at current, uh, we don't have the uh, power or energy ministry. And also, please, the next slide. Also re recently, uh, the Polish government uh, 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 adopted the uh, new strategy, the very short-term strategy uh, in terms of uh, uh, energy sector, I mean, uh, till 2040, but we are happy to have it. And you see here, what are the main trends in this, in, in this uh, 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 strategy? It means decarbonization, energy efficiency, energy security, internal energy market, and research, innovation, and competitiveness. These are the dimensions, these are the main tra trends uh, in these areas. The, governments, uh, uh, the government decided to uh, make deep changes and also to invest uh, a huge amounts of money. The next slide, please. Uh, yes. This is the slide, which is an uh, abstract from the uh, strategy of the Polish energy policy for f till 2040. And uh, uh, of course, we have no time to, to discuss the details, but uh, uh, even from the colors here, you see that uh, there would be a change. Till 2040, it will be a change, and the change will, will be uh, mostly uh, based on phasing out the coal sector, uh, uh, more energy efficiency, more renewables, and also in uh, renewables, uh, we have two uh, leading uh, technologies which will be supported by the governments, mostly, of course, uh, it will be, of course, um, uh, wind energy and uh, especially offshore wind energy and also the solar energy. Uh, it is that we want to uh, reduce our um, uh, CO2 emission as required by the European uh, uh, policy and also the development of uh, uh, renewables should uh, lead us to uh, about 25% uh, of renewables in uh, uh, energy mix in 2040. The next slide, please. And now uh, we see uh, 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 also a slide in which I would like to um, stress that uh, the coal mines should be closed by 2049. It is not a very ambitious um, uh, objective of the government, but I think that uh, we will close uh, 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 the coal uh, sector before this, this, this date. Uh, it is also important that we have the very bad uh, air quality in Poland, which is mostly caused by uh, the coal-fired furnaces. So it is also a great uh, market for uh, new uh, heating technologies for households. Uh, there is a uh, priority for the g gas, as you see here. We uh, strengthen and develop the LNG. Uh, facilities, ter terminals. Uh, we also build the uh, uh, gas pipe from, from the region, uh, Baltic pipe, and uh, uh, we, want, we also want to uh, introduce the uh, gas-fired uh, power stations. Uh, and of course, uh, what I mentioned already, there would be the first, uh, the government hopes that it would be the first uh, nuclear power plant by 2023. Uh, so it is uh, that in Germany they plan to close the um, nuclear sector and in Poland uh, we are very keen on uh, construction of the first power plant. The next slide, please. Uh, 
the next one. Okay, and now you see I uh, in this slide I provided some more specific areas where I see uh, 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 the opportunities for uh, doing good business. Uh, of course, uh, renewable sources. Uh, we have the prosumers, the fast-growing group of active consumers. They not only um, generate uh, energy for themselves, but they also sell it to the to the grid. It is, of course, a complicated uh, technical operation at the level of households. Uh, we will uh, uh, deliver uh, uh, new distributed energy sources. They will be mostly based on the small renewable energy, district heating and CHP, it is a problem in Poland because it is it is based now on, on, on coal and uh, huge investments are needed in district heating and uh, CHP in, in towns. Energy uh, system integration, consolidation of large state-owned energy companies, uh, not only, but we have such a, a political uh, a dogma to build the national champions. Uh, of course, uh, uh, there would be, or oh, there are very bottlenecks in, in, in many parts of Poland concerning the power grid, especially when we build the nuclear station, the power grid uh, will uh, be, uh, uh, will be, will be, uh, uh, must uh, be strengthened. Electrification, electrification, it is also a global trend, uh, elect electricity, cheap electricity from Nubu uh, uh, everywhere in industry and in households. Uh, we have the national strategy of hydrogen. It is also a global uh, trend. Nuclear te technology, of course, this is that uh, the introduction of these nuclear technologies uh, should uh, upgrade the whole uh, technologies uh, and hold the, uh, the level of uh, 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 technologies in Poland, not only in power uh, uh, sector, but uh, in other sectors as well. Immobility, immobility it is growing that, but relatively slowly. Uh, we have also uh, uh, well-developed industry uh, which uh, 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 produce power electronic devices, equipment, and so on. This is not only that we have a room for import from Italy, but also we uh, could provide some, uh, some, some such devices to your market. Uh, energy efficiency, home appliances, uh, there is a great eternal market in Poland, despite the economic crisis. We we, we buy so many modern appliances, so this is also uh, a good market. And smart grid and smart buildings. I will not uh, uh, tell anything because uh, my colleagues will tell you some uh, details about this too. However, these two grids, smart grids and smart buildings, uh, these are the areas where uh, the uh, uh, investments are uh, uh, needed. The next slide, please. This is a slide, as you see here, which shows us uh, uh, what are the uh, investments, what are the in investments uh, needed uh, till 2040 in Poland in energy sector and in non-energy sector, um, not going into details, not analyzing their figures, we see that uh, there are sums, uh, the funds we have to invest in, in, in energy, uh, uh, they are really, really very, very gr great. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, uh, several risks uh, uh, related to the transformation, low carb carbon transformation in energy sector. I provided here only uh, 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 one risk electricity for electricity sector taken from this official document uh, 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 from the strategy. Uh, and as you see here, Poland has few entities that can compete with foreign suppliers of energy technologies. I think that uh, maybe it is not a, an invitation from the government, but it is just a, 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 a risk which was uh, expressed in official Polish documents. So it should also uh, be uh, encouraging for you uh, if you think about investing in Poland. The next slide, please. The next slide, I think, yes, please. The next slide, it takes time. I, I will skip this slide. I've just uh, very shortly uh, discussed this, uh, uh, this slide. 
and the conclusions uh, are like this. Process of economic decarbonization has all has uh, been progresses. It has already started. Uh, uh, there were a lot of opposition, as I said, uh, against the decarbonization, but I think that now uh, the citizens, the majority of citizens, as well as the politicians, they are fully aware that it is something which cannot be uh, uh, avoided. Call phase out is a fact, a concrete dates I provided. Political decisions are steadily more supported by citizens because this is, this is uh, any decarbonization of economy and especially the energy sector. It, 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 is also, uh, it is always a costly process, but I think that more and more citizens uh, 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 understand that uh, it must be done in Poland. Uh, huge investments, huge investments, uh, so the market will be great for 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 energy-related investments uh, from from power stations to small uh, home appliances and so on. Uh, we need a dialogue with uh, in cooperation with the European Commission and neighbors. So it means that uh, that uh, we will follow the climate policy of of the Commission of the. European Union, despite their long, uh, 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 long opposition of Poland against uh, climate uh, change uh, at the level of the of, of the European Commission, I think that uh, now uh, it will be a, a better cooperation, and of course uh, we will receive a lot of money. Uh, 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 in this uh, uh, financial framework of, of uh, EU and uh, a lot of this money uh, is uh, uh, allocated, is planned to be spent on energy sector. So I don't want to invite you to, to come to Poland and to do business here because of course there are very many other uh, uh, aspects of doing business in a country but from the point of view of energy sector and uh, our energy needs, I think that uh, the, I'm not, uh, uh, I have no doubts that the uh, 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 market will be great. And of course, I think that um, uh, we will be happy to see uh, a good cooperation between the Polish and Italian uh, companies. And it is also my personal wish uh, that we'll see more uh, Italians in Poland doing uh, do business uh, from my side. Uh, 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 I, uh, uh, you, you are welcome. I invite you myself uh, because I appreciate um, uh, Italian technologies very much. So uh, I think that it might be a good uh, future for our uh, technical cooperation. Thank you very much. And excuse me, uh, uh, this uh, small technical uh, problems at the beginning. If you have any questions, of course, uh, I think that uh, uh, now or, or later I will be able to answer this question. So I'm uh, ready uh, for any, any any voices from from your side. Thank you very much. And now sh should I uh, continue? It, it was the end of my uh, uh, very uh, speedy uh, presentations. And, uh, and now, as I said, uh, there would be uh, two other presentations, uh, much more uh, focused presentation. And the first one, it would be on smart grids in Poland. This is something where uh, I think uh, uh, we can invest a lot of money. So I will invite uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Marek Jankowski uh, uh, to make the presentation, energy markets, smart grids in Poland, I think that uh, uh, you will listen to this presentation with great um, uh, pleasure. So, um, uh, Mr. Jankowski, uh, the floor is yours, please. Uh, show uh, what you have in your computer and uh, we are waiting for your presentation, please. Uh. Hello? Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Buongiorno. My name is not Marek Jankowski. My name is Arkadiusz Kropidłowski. Uh, I will uh, do this presentation instead of Marek. Uh, Marek has uh, some uh, technical problems. He is 
a way of Europe. And uh, so, so I will make a presentation about smart grid prospects in Poland. So first, uh, I would like uh, to uh, thank you for uh, have a great opportunity to, to have this short presentation. Uh, so we are, uh, myself and, and my colleagues, uh, we are the consortium called uh, Consortium of Hydrogen and Energy Transition Technologies. We are the group uh, of uh, commercial and technical advisors uh, together with the Polish Association of the Polish Power Plants. Uh, we, and uh, our objective is to promote all activities uh, uh, related to uh, energy transition process in Poland, uh, which uh, already is progressing. Uh, maybe not, uh, I would li like to say, not, maybe not a very satisfied uh, level as uh, Professor Skoczkowski said uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, however, we see a uh, great opportunity on that. Our activities uh, are, uh, uh, we started our activities uh, more in the hydrogen sector regarding utilization of the hydrogen technologies in the power generation, the power storage, and generally understood power generation uh, industry. However, uh, we also touched uh, some other areas, including uh, other uh, renewable energy sources. As you know, everything is connected. So, uh, so uh, currently uh, our uh, range of activities is uh, wider, uh, especially uh, thanks to our colleagues in the Association of uh, Polish Power Plants. Uh, except the consortium uh, uh, members, we have also the partners, uh, partners which uh, that, that uh, supports and mainly on uh, technical advice, uh, very deep expertise on some technologies, and the partners are uh, chemistry faculty of chemistry of Warsaw University and technical university of Łódź. We work with them. Uh, we already have uh, some uh, so, some projects uh, that are under uh, under the de development stage, uh, and we also have some small successes. So that uh, I will present it on the on on, on the on later as, uh, part of the presentation. One project which is already done by by our partners. Uh, generally, I, I would like to say a few words about the smart grid. Uh, smart grid, uh, we understand as uh, general integration of all appliances uh, uh, in, uh, dedicated for the power generation, for uh, consuming energy, for transmission, for distribution, including measurements and everything everything connected, managed by information technologies uh, through, for instance, uh, processing big data and uh, making uh, control over the whole system in order to achieve as much as possible high uh, reliability, availability, uh, to reduce negative uh, environmental impact and also uh, make as much as possible connection of uh, renewable energy sources to achieve finally what we can uh, what we can say uh, uh, energy effectiveness. Part of it is also uh, uh, smart metering, uh, which we understand also as an implementation and installation of the uh, measurement devices uh, across the whole grid. Uh, including households uh, that makes it possible uh, for uh, data collection, data processing, communication, and uh, giving them input for the better control of the whole system. What is the current status of the power grid in Poland? Uh, uh, it was already uh, pointed out by Professor Skoczkowski that, uh, that we need uh, lots of investment in the generally, particularly the power grid. Uh, power grid in Poland, uh, we can characterize uh, as a conventional system based mainly on uh, energy from uh, fossil fuels. Currently in our energy mix, a uh, majority of the energy sources are uh, fossil fuel sources, 
coal and gas, which is uh, around 85% of the total, uh, which, which its share in the total energy mix is around 85%. Uh, around 15% is for renewables. Uh, and within this 85%, uh, 65 up to 70 percent is coal, uh, hard coal and and uh, uh, lignite coal. Uh, regarding the the control systems, it is also uh, very traditional, mainly uh, located uh, on the level on uh, large power utilities that we have, mostly almost uh, mostly uh, fired by uh, fossil fuels and on uh, high voltage transmission uh, lines and distribution uh, uh, lines. Uh, regarding uh, the uh, grid uh, on medium, level, uh, medium voltage and the low voltage distribution grids, they are not very well equipped with the modern uh, measure, measuring devices which also makes that the control uh, capabilities on that level uh, are very limited. Uh, thus, connection of additional sources, for instance, uh, uh, for instance, photovoltaic plants uh, is, is very, uh, very difficult right, right now in Poland due to these this issues related with the, with the control system. So, uh, because of uh, this, let's say, old-fashioned structure of the, uh, however, uh, uh, under modernization, but still uh, not su sufficiently uh, sufficiently modernized, uh, the, the uh, structure of the of the power grid uh, on a high a high voltage, uh, medium voltage, and low voltage uh, uh, level. It's not, not very, very modern, I would say. So uh, th therefore is a uh, uh, high need to implement smart grid solutions as much as possible. And application of those solutions is according to general uh, national grid uh, development plan and uh, also with accordance to e EU policy and also the domestic energy uh, strategy, uh, which is described in the national energy uh, strategy up to 2040. A uh, few words uh, my predecessor said about that. Okay. So uh, why we need uh, uh, this implementation? Of course, we need the, those implementation of the smart grid uh, generally in the direction which is technically understood as offload of the power grid, increase of overall uh, system effectiveness, increase utilization of renewable energy sources, increase uh, energy supply reliability, and also establish uh, self-balancing uh, energy zones. Uh, the last point is, is quite important because uh, this is, uh, this, uh, is uh, uh, possible since the, uh, one of the last uh, amendments to energy law bill and uh, generally uh, saying uh, the, all the solutions which can help uh, those, uh, those items uh, here uh, mentioned uh, to, to develop those items uh, are very, very welcome on the Polish market. Uh, a few words about the legal framework for the smart grid development in Poland. Uh, so I would like to stress uh, two last amendments to the energy law bill, which, uh, uh, which uh, makes uh, uh, possible to to, uh, to 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 install on uh, somehow facilitated process energy storage plants we can call that it is a, a green light to develop energy storage plants in Poland but not only uh, let's say a big storage plants but also the uh, smaller uh, storage energy storage applications I mean uh, about the households uh, and also about uh, vehicles. vehicles. 
Uh, the second amendment, uh, which was put in force uh, last year, uh, attract uh, to establish so-called cluster, energy clusters. Energy clusters is a kind of uh, relationships between uh, producers, prosumers, consumers, uh, distributors uh, of uh, energy, of, uh, of, of energy within the certain zones. Uh, making uh, making those zones uh, in, in some extent independent from the from uh, from general system, uh, creating kind of energy islands. Uh, this is uh, the, the the new one, and this also creates uh, quite a lot of business opportunities uh, in terms of uh, supply of all. Uh, smart uh, applications, uh, smart grid applications, smart grid appliances, and other equipment. Of course, except uh, uh, legal, uh, uh, except uh, energy law, which is the main legal act that drives the energy business in Poland, we have also the others uh, bills which are uh, very important. I, I put it here as uh, just just to to give you an information uh, what it is and what what are the uh, exact name of the legal act. It's first is environmental law, the second is energy effectiveness law, the third is uh, energy law, which is mentioned uh, before, and last is ren uh, uh, renewable energy uh, sources bill. Uh, the last uh, but not least is also that uh, permanently in, in the Polish legal system are implemented all the EU standards, especially those which are fit to Green Deal, to circular economy, digitalization and industry for zero. Development directions. Uh, as, uh, of course, uh, I think as in every European countries, uh, if, uh, to, to develop the, 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 the business in the certain areas, there must be, uh, uh, there must be defined a legal framework and the legal framework is a trigger to develop uh, the, 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 the business, in fact. So, uh, According to the to, to the current legal uh, 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 legal status, it's possible to to make uh, to elaborate and implement new business models in the in energy system management, mainly towards the clusters, uh, to make uh, to organize uh, smaller energy systems which are self balanced and independent from the uh, from the uh, from uh, big power utilities. Uh, of course, it's also all developments uh, regarding the upgrades, uh, upgrades of uh, equipment and systems according to new regulations in according to uh, uh, Green Deal, digitalization and industry uh, for zero. All those makes, let's say, the, 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 the potential opportunities to, to develop uh, all the applications, all the systems, all the products related to the uh, to the smart grid. Also, uh, more and more uh, uh, are emerging uh, ideas and uh, solutions uh, uh, that refers to so-called smart city. Uh, of course, not in a, in a big scale, at least because of our uh, our towns are, and, and cities are not so as big as Mexico or New York or Tokyo. Uh, however, in, in, in more and more uh, extent, uh, those uh, those solutions are also uh, uh, are also exist on Polish market. And the last, uh, which is very important to integrate all the systems, uh, all the systems related to, uh, to the intelligent energy management, using, of course, IT technologies, artificial intelligence and big data processing. Uh, the next uh, possible directions to develop uh, all these solutions uh, to, 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 to develop the business is uh, integration and uh, 
uh, of power generation and uh, storage plants, especially in light of the uh, amendment to the energy bill. Uh, build up uh, and support development and self-balance independent local energy systems. Uh, again, uh, what I would like to stress, energy islands, I would say that those two areas are uh, the most important right now, most important directions to, and, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to utilize opportunities, business opportunities in, uh, say so, smart grid, uh, uh, smart grid business integration and the second uh, support and uh, equip so-called energy islands or energy clusters of course also the other solutions like uh, shaping uh, demand and supply of energy between the partners again for instance within energy islands energy clusters uh, all the tools related to the analysis of uh, versus uh, 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 analysis uh, of production versus consumption of energy and shaping of billing models. This is also important. Uh, uh, also, energy law uh, allows, let's say, to, uh, to have a different uh, kind of flexibility uh, on uh, billing uh, models between the partners. And the last, which is very, very important, not directly maybe connected with uh, smart grid solutions, but it's a, we put it as a cogeneration context. context. Uh, coupling power generation with heating and cooling needs. We are the country where, uh, where we need, of course, uh, heating. We, we, can't, uh, uh, we can't live uh, without that. And uh, because of many uh, district heating plants have also a power generation capacity, uh, capacity here in Poland. So this is also very, uh, very important to, 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 to promote the solutions that can uh, uh, support uh, this uh, cogeneration uh, production. What are the prospects? Uh, uh, prospects uh, of smart grid market in Poland, we see definitively on energy clusters. We see that those uh, energy clusters are the, let's say, the mine uh, receivers uh, all, of all necessary equipment, technologies, uh, and solutions. Uh, 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 of the producers uh, of, the, uh, of those for the smart grid. Uh, why then? Uh, first, because we see uh, that, that, that uh, right now we are on the very beginning phase uh, of the development of those energy clusters. So let's say the market is uh, not uh, uh, dense. Uh, uh, Loaded by, by, by the existing uh, technologies, uh, and uh, let's say the competition uh, of co uh, is not uh, not very very big, I would say in in, in that. Uh, uh, so, be let's say the first entrant on the market uh, makes uh, gives uh, some competitive advantage. Uh, uh, also, what is what is connected to that is uh, creation of uh, local operators, also with the part, uh, participation of the power utilities. This is the, the, the new item, which is uh, also a kind of energy cluster, but but uh, part, but we would like to stress it this point with participation of the power utilities, as uh, our uh, member of our consortium uh, are power utilities. They, the, the, those, uh, they, as uh, big players on the, uh, on the energy market, they are also very interested uh, in uh, creation of such uh, energy, uh, energy, uh, energy clusters. So we, uh, this is also our role as a consortium to, uh, to promote uh, smart grid solutions uh, in, uh, among them. Uh, I already said that uh, also uh, uh, w w what is the cluster? The cluster is, is, uh, is a framework that integrates uh, distributed generation uh, uh, and uh, 
and uh, make an uh, make a uh, improvement of the quality and optimization of the energy energy, uh, energy power generation power generation versus consumption uh, so 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 no, rather on the smaller scale not like uh, on the scale on the that that covers all the country so so we see also uh, them as a, as a potential clients of the of the solutions uh, equipment and, and equipment in, in area of the smart grid uh, what is also interesting, uh, it is also that uh, that that lots of uh, uh, lots of uh, R and D units in Poland are working with the smart grid solutions. Uh, for instance, our partner uh, Polytechnika Łódzka uh, have some uh, uh, some successes uh, in this area. Uh, so, together with such R&D units, uh, also is, 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 is possible to, 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 to utilize them in a technology development, technology transfer, and utilization they know how, their know-how. Uh, now, a few items that come from our partners uh, that are specifically interested uh, in terms of smart grid. Uh, one point is... Uh, uh, please, please know the time. Go to the conclusion. Yes, thank you. Uh, development of inventors, uh, development of infrastructure for uh, vehicle, uh, electric vehicle, integration again, and increasing of uh, security and energy transmission. Uh, sample projects in Poland. Uh, there are not so many in Poland. We are at the beginning. Uh, uh, I would like to stress only one, uh, which is the project which is uh, finalized by our partner. It's a management of the grid operator and the control system for low voltage grid uh, uh, with uh, using renewable sources. This is also the project which we currently uh, develop. It's a blue and energy system uh, with hydrogen storage. And, uh, and the summary, uh, summary, lots of bullets here, but I would, I would like to stress that uh, micro installation and the renewable energy sources uh, is the, 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 the key importance of the development of the economy and energy and energy security. And let's say focus in this area is especially, uh, especially uh, attractive, I would say, for the, for the business. So that's everything. So what I uh, I would like to to show you and uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention and thank you for invitation. If you have any questions, here there is a, a contact list. We are uh, ready to, to to support you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Arkadiusz. It was uh, really. Um very professional presentation about the smart grid i think that we agree we all agree that uh, smart grid it is a big challenge uh, not only uh, a technological challenge but also business challenge we are looking for new business models but i think that our uh, energy electrical energy utilities uh, they are in some uh, aspects they are leaders they have some very interesting projects Thank you very much, and uh, I think that we have to proceed to the next um, presentation. It would be about the smart building in Poland. Everything is smart. When I was young, uh, only people were smart. Now, uh, people maybe are not smart, but we had smart cities, smart buildings, smart grids, and so on. However, I have just received uh, a message that, unfortunately, Dr. Wenglash uh, uh, is uh, not able to make the presentation because he was uh, called to uh, uh, the director of our university at a very short notice however however uh, there would be a replacement uh, uh, mr kuakoski tomas is ready to tell us about uh, the concept and what is happening in, in, in smart buildings in poland so uh, 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 Kuakowski, the floor is yours try to keep to time uh, uh, speed up a little bit because usually we have very many things to 
mention, however, we should finish at uh, uh, 12 o'clock. So uh, the floor is yours. Do your best. Thank you very much. Uh, am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sharing the screen. Um, and I guess that my screen is also visible. Yes? No, no I, I think that Mr. Uh, Jankowski should uh, st stop uh, sharing the screen and then uh, there would be uh, a screen for you. Okay, so uh, we still... Okay. okay, try again. Is it visible now? Not yet, not yet. We should ask Mr. Kopidłowski to close, to stop sharing his screen. Yes. Uh, he is not sharing. You are sharing, but we don't see the slide. I see that you okay. are sharing okay. the okay. computer, okay. but there is something maybe the okay. procedure is not correct. Let's right. start. Okay, okay. So is okay. my slide okay. visible now? Not yet, not yet. We, we will tell you. Try to do your best and we will tell you where we see uh, your slides, okay? So, uh, okay. Uh, That's kind okay. of a surprise for me. So it was a like for me. This. And now? Not yet, not yet, not yet. I think there is a problem with your PC. Maybe, uh, Ricardo, do you think you can uh, no, do uh, we it? Were, we were seeing for a, a moment a last page of a presentation of Mr. Kopidłowski. So, Mr. Kopidłowski, are you sure to have uh, clo to have to stop? To have yes, your Ricardo, page? I am sure because it's, it's not uh, online. Okay, let's, see that. let's try to share mm -hmm. my screen, okay? For Mr. Okay. Uh, for okay. Mr. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it will be the best solution. Okay, the, that's the, right. uh, something mysterious is happening uh, because I don't see anything. Other people see the last slide of Mr. Okay. Uh, we have okay. Now. Now, yeah, we can start the presentation, please. Okay, so. Hopefully that's the end of the troubles. Uh, as it was said, I'm uh, speaking on behalf of Mr. Wengler, so uh, because of the delays, we can skip to the, to the next slide. And uh, in, if you could click, there should be a text also. Yes, yeah, so uh, smart buildings include many uh, system uh, among the uh, residential buildings, multifamily buildings, or office buildings. Uh, and uh, the main purpose of using them is uh, reducing energy costs, which are uh, getting very, very high in Poland currently, optimizing op uh, operation, and of course, improving the comfort of uh, users of the facilities. So uh, if we can skip to the next slide. And once more, I would like to ask you to, yes. Um, what are the most uh, demanded functionalities are uh, if you could just click because there will be some you know yes yeah, bullet points uh, maintaining the stable parameters of the internal environment uh, it, yes <laughs> allowing for easy adaptation of the para parameters uh, to the changing needs of the users next providing full control and protection of building resources. This is very important and popular in Poland now. And next, providing the required technical and communication infrastru infrastructure of the facility. So uh, very demanded function now is uh, connection, uh, connecting all the system in one platform, which is not that obvious, which I will speak about later. So next slide and so. Oh, of course, this communication with the outside world, uh, it means that it should be uh, able to be uh, exploited on not, on, uh, not only by the uh, service system, let's say, but also by the end user who can uh, take some data out of the, uh, system, uh, of the automation system and uh, analyze it separately. Of course, in Poland, 
if we if you could uh, click a few times because yes uh, these uh, as i said the smart home smart buildings are applied in office buildings shopping and ser uh, service centers sport facilities uh, multifamily uh, multifamily buildings and also if you could click one more in a single family building which is getting bigger and bigger market uh, currently in poland this single family family residential uh, users and if you can go to the next slide of course uh, the uh, smart home systems are uh, expected to be able to communicate with the most frequent frequently used protocols and communication standards uh, which are um, most popular in poland if we can go to the next slide and if you could click a few times yes so now in poland uh, the uh, research proved that one out of five respondents lives in a smart home of course it is not uh, understood as uh, home with building management system it means that he has either some device like uh, smart uh, light bulbs or smart refrigerator or smart tv but one out of five uh, respondents have some smart devices or solutions in home and very uh, popular are getting also controls that can uh, allow end users to uh, change some parameters or uh, turn on or turn, turn off some devices uh, remotely absolutely remotely like, yeah like you, you can remotely turn on your uh, laundry machine or uh, check what is now in your refrigerator to prepare some shopping list if we can go to the next slide and if you could click a few times yes uh, yes and a few clicks more uh, very important factor driving the growth of the smart solutions is demand for energy savings uh, also growing need for security uh, these security uh, problems are mostly visible in uh, commercial buildings like shopping malls or some office uh, retail space uh, aging of the population which might be not the obvious thing but uh, this is because uh, there's a very big need for uh, simplifying the control in building there, there is more and more uh, electronical solutions and uh, aging population is not able to uh, follow this progress and this is this need for smart applications that can uh, simply uh, help them communicate with the with the building if we can go to the next slide yes uh, the very big uh, problem is in uh, evolution of this smart home uh, market is that it is very uh, difficult to uh, make com complex uh, installation uh, integrating all the system all the systems in the building like uh, heating ventilation air conditioning uh, lighting uh, all these uh, cameras and so on if we are not at the stage of uh, new construction or uh, very uh, deep renovation so uh, in existing buildings uh, the most popular solutions are these plug and play devices that you can simply um, attach to the electric socket and install some app on your smartphone smart smartphone on the or the uh, computer and control them uh, separately uh, actually separately all the systems yeah because you have different app for the uh, lighting different for for the refrigerator and so on if we can go to the next slide yes and you, if you could click a few times yes uh, yes because now th th there's these results of the survey uh, where um, it was said that most of the end users use uh, or have uh, these non-centralized systems uh, however 15 percent of responder the respondents use google home 
uh, 13 percent uh, are for Fibaro and Samsung smart things Fibaro is Polish company providing smart solutions mostly this plug-and-play solutions Apple HomeKit is uh, responsible only for 5% of users and Amazon Alexa for 3% of respondents. So uh, as it can be seen, uh, despite almost quarter of all the responders, respondents use um, non-centralized solutions, Google Home is uh, standing for 15% of the uh, integrated systems. If you can go to the next slide. Uh, yes, and if you could click a few times. Uh, as I said, the centralized system are uh, mostly demanded for managing the lighting, uh, heating, uh, uh, ventilation, air conditioning systems, uh, control, uh, entrance control, like entrance gate or some uh, cards to enter the office space, open space, some controlled space, and so on. Uh, monitoring cameras. Uh, and uh, of course everybody wants to control these things using smartphone or uh, some web app uh, this uh, not centralized systems are most related to some smart tv smart refriger refrigerators uh, washing machines or laundry machines uh, or or so on if we can go to the next slide Yes, uh, these smart home systems are uh, still relatively new technology. The first uh, applications that we've uh, actually analyzed were from late 90s, and this is not new, but th these are completely different systems that uh, we can uh, see today. So this smart solution uh, that are uh, that is able to be controlled via some uh, up. This is actually last uh, five to ten years. Uh, most of the uh, systems are based on combination of this building management system and some uh, sensors that are uh, that are not centralized. Of course, the uh, development of the intelligent buildings is aimed uh, on uh, combining all the system on one platform. Uh, natural area of the development is artificial intelligence which is more and more often used for uh, energy performance optimization let's say there are solutions that uh, analyze the uh, demanded parameters of the air, uh, air temperature air humidity uh, and some uh, hvac controls and are using the weather forecasts to control the uh, parameters in next few hours just to uh, optimize the energy consumption if we could go to the another another slide uh, this is the materials there were some uh, numbers listed during the presentation where we can find data about this service that been that been done uh, in poland and this is actually it thank you for your time and attention and sorry for the troubles unfortunately that's that couldn't be obeyed Panie profesorze, prosimy włączyć mikrofon. Pan profesor Skoczkowski nas słyszy. Panie profesorze, prosimy włączyć mikrofon. Okay, now, sorry, sorry, it was, uh, I, I was trying uh, um, uh, for a while, but now, now it works, so, so. Sorry, sorry. was my fault. Yeah, it, it, it was your fault. No, it was not a fault, it, it happened, so.
I think that uh, we should thank you uh, for this uh, uh, presentation. It was also uh, very interesting. Um, and uh, I think that we are convinced that there is also a place for doing good business in, 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 in Polish uh, uh, building stock, in, in, in our homes. Uh, so, so that uh, now I think it is a time to take some questions or, uh, or comments. Uh, if, uh, um, uh, there would be no uh, questions. Uh, uh, I will try to. I will try to make some summary from my from my point of view. Very short. I mean, just uh, uh, um, uh, a summary uh, of uh, my impressions from this. Uh, three presentations we made in this um, uh, technical part of our seminar. Uh, do we have any any questions? Please, uh, 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 the floor is open for questions. So, if we have any questions, or comments to this presentation. Yes, please. we we have a question. It's not about the last two presentation. It's a question about Leonora. Uh, I wrote it in the chat. It says, given the current situation, as it, as I know the war in Ukraine. Is something already changing on the market? Is the Italian or other companies scared by the proximity of the conflict? I don't know who can answer to this question. Well, I think that uh, everyone can uh, uh, express uh, he, his or her uh, uh, thoughts about this. Uh, I may start and I think that the conflict is really uh, uh, something which is terrible. It is a war uh, just uh, uh, just behind our borders. Uh, uh, sometimes when we uh, uh, read or um, uh, see on television uh, the wars in other parts of the world, um, uh, we see it is far away, but it is very close. But uh, getting back to, to business, I think that uh, the situation is in Poland is uh, uh, concerning business is absolutely stable. We are not afraid. We have no queues to uh, petrol stations. We have no uh, disrupt disruptions in um, uh, the power system and so on. However, of course, we fight very hard. We work very hard to accommodate, to welcome uh, uh, more than one million of the Ukrainians. But I think that when we talk in this uh, Polish-Italian uh, uh, um, uh, team, uh, uh, it is not, uh, uh, we cannot say uh, anything about the problems with uh, uh, the uh, people coming to your, to, uh, to your country because I, everybody knows that Italian uh, has uh, similar problems with the uh, immigrants coming from the North Italy. You uh, did a great job and I, I think that uh, we are also trying to, to, to do uh, such a great uh, job in Italy, uh, in Poland, because uh, the example, uh, the uh, attitude of the Italian people uh, and uh, local governments uh, 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 you practice uh, during the uh, uh, North Africa uh, crisis, immigrant crisis, uh, could serve as a model. So. This is uh, what I would like to, 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 to say. Of course, uh, we all feel uh, that uh, the war is so close and uh, we don't know what would be the outcomes of the, of the war. However, concerning uh, business, only business in, 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 in the power sector, uh, uh, we can be sure that there will be very deep changes concerning energy mix, technologies, uh, research in, in energy sector because we see uh, now uh, that uh, uh, European countries uh, are so much dependent on um, import of energy carriers and this situation must be changed, especially uh, uh, in this uh, um, situation when we have some uh, uh, new technologies in place which can replace the fossil fuels. It, it is all from my, from my side. I, I think the other people uh, can uh, make uh, a, a, a similar uh, comments on, on, on this question. Excuse Thank me, you. Professor. Uh, maybe Mr. Salio from Confindustria Polonia would like to uh, add something about uh, uh, the situation of the, the Italian companies. Uh, is a welcome. Uh, 
well, okay, the Italian companies uh, in Poland now are uh, also uh, somehow scared of what is going on. But uh, for the time being, uh, by the way, today I'm visiting one company, I'm sorry, but that is a bit of noise. Uh, they are not having uh, any wish or any decision to move out. Uh, for sure, the energy is an, an important aspect, but uh, there is no, let's say, a real scare uh, scare about what uh, what is going on. So uh, I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't have a negative effect on that. Uh, even more, well, just today I am visiting a company that is also one of our members that uh, has a lot of uh, interest and uh, request. Uh, is asking me if and how to help uh, to have everything that is linked with. Uh, Energy because uh, the bill is exploding, and therefore uh, there is the need uh, to find uh, find solution uh, because the final customer are not uh, the final customer are not uh, compensating the cost uh, that uh, they have now. Uh, so again, I strongly suggest for our uh, Italian friends uh, that there are uh, a lot of opportunities uh, putting together our competencies. Uh, the, the Italian manufacturing companies and the excellence uh, of, uh, of also Polish University and Research Center. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. It was very interesting. I, I, I think that uh, uh, there could be a great future be, be, before our cooperation uh, and uh, also the political situation will uh, be in favor of these uh, changes in the energy sector. To some extent, they will be forced, they will be costly for our societies. However, I think that they are not uh, avoidable. I mean uh, that uh, we must take them, disregarding what would be the cost for our society. I mean the energy security for our countries and for our homes, for everybody, uh, is so important that there will be follow up from uh, the politicians which will uh, uh, be more uh, uh, involved in uh, developing new technologies in the energy sector. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, no other no other questions. I see that uh, there is also from uh, Rafael, Rafael Chaya uh, a comment. It is now obvious that renewables and smart solutions should be an answer. Yes, I think that uh, I agree with this, uh, and uh, I think that the majority of our all uh, uh, our uh, participants uh, they also uh, had the same feeling. Uh, this is what we have, and this is what would be the future of energy sector. So I don't see any other questions. Uh, so uh, I will give the floor to uh, uh, Director Lemma just to summarize this because the. Uh, uh, Time is running very fast. We are close to 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 to, to uh, midday. So, uh, uh, Director Limmer, now uh, uh, to you. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, uh, Professor Koski. Uh, um, so now, uh, I, I really thanks uh, you and uh, your colleagues for uh, the, the, the the your presentations. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, you give us a, a, a framework more complete about the, the Poland market uh, of energy and uh, construction. Uh, for sure, the, the challenges uh, are uh, many on the field, uh, no last uh, the, 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 the current situation, political situation in, in the close uh, uh, country, Ukraine. So, uh, of course, uh, we, we hope uh, every all that uh, will be uh, a solution uh, very soon uh, and stop the, the war and we continue to work uh, in, in, in case in the uh, help our company to to uh, uh, develop the relation on the field uh, so uh, i think today we we uh, just uh, put a brick uh, our 
work uh, because uh, uh, of course uh, the, the, we, we need uh, 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 realize a follow up of, of this because uh, uh, the companies are eager to uh, operate on the field uh, i think many italian companies would like to restart to uh, come on on the, on the market and meet the, the, the counterparts and understand the right in, in the operating way how to develop the, the, the their cooperation. Um, I, I don't want to add the other things, uh, just so that they hope that uh, will be a very soon a, a, a better situation for all. And uh, I want thanking uh, again, uh, once again, uh, you, Mr. Professor, for uh, the, 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 the very great job uh, today and uh, your colleagues for the, uh, the, the very important, interesting presentation. Uh, of course, uh, oh, I, I greet uh, again and uh, thanks uh, all the speakers and uh, our colleagues that uh, put uh, this uh, uh, that support uh, uh, behind uh, the organization of this webinar. And, uh, uh, so uh, I would like to uh, give again a uh, uh, good uh, morning, everybody, and uh, uh, we see the next uh, uh, occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was our honor. Thank you very much.